glad it is great to be back in our garden and it's such a beautiful glorious day in London today. I'm, I'm glad we are back in our garden. I really missed our garden. Me too dad, I've really missed it. It's been a good few weeks we've been away from our garden and um, it's a beautiful day to get some gardening done today. Yes dad, let's get some gardening done. It's been a good few weeks since we uploaded a gardening video. We've been away traveling. So in today's video, we'll be giving you a full garden update and we'll also be giving you some gardening tips as we go along. Hello everyone and Assalamu Alaikum. If you're new to our channel, I'm Akib Ullah. I'm Ali Raja, Assalamu Alaikum. So without further ado, Dad, let's start gardening. Let's start gardening. These are the changes we have made in our front garden. We have removed the old brick wall and we have replaced it with a new brick wall with beautiful looking metal railings. And in my opinion, it looks really beautiful. But let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you have watched some of our old videos, you would remember we used to have grass in this area and exactly where I'm sitting, we used to have a camellia tree. So we removed the camellia tree and we laid these porcelain slabs. And in my opinion, it looks great. It makes the front garden look much bigger. But let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below. This year, we're growing all our strawberries in our front garden in a container such as this. Uh, growing strawberries is very simple. Buy your strawberry plants from your local um, garden centers, such as this. I think this we bought from BNQ. Um, put some um, multi compost in your containers. And as a fertilizer, you could use uh, fish, blood, and bone. Add two handful of fish, blood, and bone, and put your put your um, strawberry uh, plants in there. And uh, as you can see, all our strawberry plants already began flowering and I can see some of them um, producing strawberries. Last year we had great season for strawberries. Dad, we harvested many strawberries last season. O only from two containers. So why not grow some, uh, why not grow some strawberries this year in containers? Strawberries are one of my favourite fruits. They taste so delicious with chocolate. I, I love strawberries. Strawberry plants, they, they prefer full sun, at least six to eight hours. So place your containers in full sun. Otherwise, you're not going to get too many uh, produce. Dad, these strawberry plants are really old, aren't they? We planted these a very long time ago. Uh, this, this was uh, planted about four years ago. But um, the perennial, they come up every year. But I think it's best to replace them after four years. Do you remember this, this lemon plant? Uh, I think we made a video on how to overwinter your lemon plant. And this was the lemon plant we saved over the winter. And at the time it had uh, a lot of lemons on them, uh, but unripe lemon. But mashallah, we managed to save this lemon plant. And if you can see, it has, uh, the lemons has ripened. ripened. I'm really pleased we managed to save this lemon plant. It had so many lemons on the, uh, on the plant at the time. And I reckon we have about 20 lemons on this small lemon plant here. But looking at the plant, it looks a little pale. We may need to use a, um, start using a little fertilizer now, now that we are approaching summer. And I can see the plants beginning to produce flowers. So I'm hoping to get lots of lemons from this lemon plant this year. Lemon plant prefers a lot of nitrogen. So you, if you're using a liquid fertilizer, use a fertilizer that contains more nitrogen than phosphorus and, and potassium.
Dad, I'm going to harvest this lemon now. I'm looking forward to that. Me too. There we go. Mmm, it smells so delicious and fresh. I've been waiting such a long time to harvest one of these lemons. Our garden is looking a little empty and a little messy, but I'm hoping in a few weeks time it's going to be buzzing with plants and fruits and flowers. We've been away for a few weeks and gardening and traveling doesn't go well. Despite the best effort made by my elder, elder two sons, they came and looked after a garden for us while we were away. We lost a lot of plants due to cold weather. And, but mashallah, a lot of our chili plants survived. And these are some of the chili plants that we planted on the 20th of January this year. And they are producing chilies. Yes, Dad, I can see his first chili over here. Oh, this is our first black chili of 2022. Mashallah, look, chili is coming up and looking good. So these are some of the chili plants. They survived, but we lost a lot of plants due to cold weather. And we kept, we had all those plants in this greenhouse without any heating. Um, we didn't want to keep the heating on because the, the rising price of fuel and everything is so expensive. So we decided not to use any heating in the greenhouse. But mashallah, they survived a lot of them. This so, is an aubergine plant. This is, I think this is the um, Turkish... The Turkish orange. Turkish orange yeah. um, aubergine. And um, it's not doing too bad. It would have done better if, if the night temperature was warmer. Uh, this is another chili. This one looks like it needs water, I keep. Okay, I'll water dry. that one. And these are some of the naga chili plants. Naga chilies, yes. That's another green chili. Oh, I'm so happy to see my first green chili of 2022. Is this, this the one? Yeah, it's over here. This year we're growing lots of potatoes and leafy greens in these jumbo builders bag. When we was having a garden makeover, we ordered sand and the sand came in these jumbo builders bag. So we're reusing them and we're reusing our old compost from last year. So we planted some potatoes in this bag and we planted some leafy greens in this bag. And mashallah, they're doing really good. They're doing really good. The potatoes are doing really good, yes. So we've, we have reused our old compost from last year. Um, I've realised, Akim, that the price of the compost has gone up by double this year. Yes, it has. So it's, uh, it's, it's hurtful to waste your compost. So we, we have reused our compost. We added some um, chicken manure pellet and uh, some fish, fish blood, and bone. blood and bone in the old compost to put some energy back into the compost. And mashallah, the potatoes are doing really good. They're looking really healthy as well. Yes. And if you remember about five weeks ago, we made a video how to start your leafy green in uh, modular seed trays. And mashallah, this is the result. Uh, these are some of the... Um, spring onions. Spring onion. Lettuce, lettuce, lettuce leaves. And spinach leaves. And spinach leaves. We planted them in this jumbo builder's bag. And they're looking good. Yes, they're they looking are. Good. Oh, wow. The plants inside the greenhouse aren't looking too bad. They could be better, but they're not looking too bad. They're not looking too bad, Akib. Um, but like I said, a few, two, two or three weeks ago, the night temperature was really, really low. Really cold. And we did not have any, any heating in here and we lost a lot of plant. And a lot of plant became unhealthy due to cold weather. You cannot control um, weather. So we could have kept a heater in here, but uh, like I said, because of the price of heating has gone up so much, I just couldn't afford to have heating in here. But it's not looking too bad. Dad, I have some great news for you. Okay, what's the news, Akib? Take a look at this. Oh, we have... Our first Naka of 2022. Oh, mashallah, we got um, Nagas coming. My favourite chilli, Naga. But by the way, this chilli was saved overwintered from last year. So this plant was from last year. And we managed to save that. So we got lots of... But even if you look at this There's plant, another one coming out, Dad. 
Yeah, lots of, one. yeah, we should get lots of lots of plant uh, chili. Yeah, no, lots of chilies. Yeah, they, they yeah, are. Lots of chilies. Yes. Now, even looking at this plant, it doesn't look too healthy. It looks a little pale, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't. It, so the day temperature was really good um, the past few weeks. It's it the went, night temperature when below uh, ten degrees, around five six degrees, and that shocks the plant. So, there were some cheeky slugs over here eating up our leaves. Oh, these are these are those small, small little slugs. Slugs. Um, I've reported that only a few days ago. This uh, and look at the state of it now. Um, the cheeky little slugs hide inside the soil. They they hide inside the soil, so I think it's best to use uh, snail pellets around the soil here. Look at the state of this. Oh, I'm really pleased with my naga chilies. Okay, these are some cysts in the plant we managed to save. We only have our four, four plants this year. We lost a lot of our plants. Yeah. So these are a few cysts in the plants that we're planting in the greenhouse. And I'm hoping um, they should survive. And uh, in about four or six to eight weeks time, we should be harvesting cysts in the from these plants. And here we are, I have some more leafy greens. Some leafy greens. These are lettuce leaves. And behind that I have cucumbers. And so I've got these strings for them to trail onto. And behind I have some radish. Yeah, that's radish. That's radish. And these leafy greens, we started about five weeks ago. We showed you in one of the videos how to start your leafy greens in modular seed tray. I can't wait to harvest some radish. Yeah, I think yeah, it should be soon, another four, four weeks, and we should be three, four weeks actually. And we should get radish from there. These are more strawberry more plants. Strawberries. I'm going to take this out soon. Now, this is one of our hodu plant. We lost two hodu plant. We, um, it's, it looks very, very stringy. It doesn't look too healthy, I'm afraid. The leaves look quite small. Yeah, they do. It's the cold weather we had in the past few weeks. The night temperature was so low. But mashallah, I think it's reviving now. I can see that it's starting to produce side stems. So let's hope that this should give us one or two hodus. Now this plant, the seed, uh, was sprouted inside the hodu. Oh, yeah. So this is uh, one of our mi miracle, miracle hodu plants. plants, yes. We found that plant inside the hodu and we made a video about it. Uh, unusual nature. And so that hodu was found inside the hodu plant. And it's not looking too healthy at the moment, but I think it's going to survive. I hope it does. I hope it does. Okay, what else do we have here, Kip? Some so, more overgene plants. So these are these are hodu plants, and I'm hoping. Uh, I know a lot of you may have hodu plants gone three or feet tall, but I don't need my hodu plants to be this tall at this time. I'm going to be planting them out end of May. So this is the perfect size for my plants now. In three four weeks time, this will go tall. So this is two different varieties. These are some cucumbers. Cucumbers here. Some tomato plants. Some tomatoes, yes. Look, these one I, I bought them from the shop actually. The, uh, these are beef tomatoes. These are beef tomatoes, yes. Beef uh, tomatoes and cherry tomatoes are one of my favorite tomatoes. And these are some. Um, what are these? Cabbage. Cabbage, yes. Red cabbage. Red cabbage. More cucumbers. We have some bitter gourds over here. Yeah, we lost, uh, lost a lot of, lot of bitter gourd and uh, cysts in the plants. So these are the only plants we have left this year uh, to, for us to grow. Uh, and we only have about four hodu plants, no more than that. But that should be enough, Akip, isn't it? Yeah. That should be enough. That's a hodu plant. We have lots of uh, aubergine plants this year. Yeah, we, we do. Different varieties of aubergine. Dad, our lemon tree is starting to produce more leaves. Yeah, this is a, a, another lemon lemon plant we, we kept inside the greenhouse. 
and we over overwintered that inside the greenhouse. And I must say, it's producing a lot of lemons. Yeah, there's a, quite a lot of lemons over here. Uh, a lot of lemons and a lot of flowers, and the plant looks really healthy. It's all to do with sun and heat. So it's not about what fertilizer you're using. Yes, fertilizer does make a difference, but it's all to do with sun and the heat and water, right amount of water. These are some of our aubergine plants. Now this looks dehydrated. We need to spray some uh, fine mist, mist on, them. on it. Okay. And uh, this looks nice and That healthy. one looks nice. Nice and healthy. Looks yeah. hydrated, doesn't it? We need to spray some mist on this plant as well. Yes. So I kept them out in the sun and they look a bit dopey now. So I need to spray some mist on them. And look at this beautiful naga plant. The bad boy. Yes, I like one of my favorite. So they, they look healthy. Dad, I'm really pleased with our green chili plants. They're yeah, doing they really lots well. Lots of green chilies, like you can see. Yes. Lots of flowers. Lots of chilies coming. That's good. Guys, do you remember this plant? Last year, this plant produced so many, many chilies for us. I think we probably had more than a thousand chilies from this chili plant. There was more chilies than... I, Dad, look, it's producing chilies. Yes, it's producing chilies now. Finally, it's producing chilies. There was more chilies on this plant than its actual leaves. So this was overwintered from last year. And I can see, mashallah, I'm so happy. We, we had to work so hard to protect this chili plant. And it's producing chilies now. Yeah, there's quite a lot now starting to produce. Uh, look at these beauties. This is the Krishna chili. Okay, looking good. On a very hot day, spray some water on your plants, a, a very fine mist, and your plants will love you for it. So in, in, the, in this patch, uh, what are we growing in that patch, Akiv? In this patch, mm. we're growing some tomatoes, two tomatoes at the front and one bottle gourd plant at the back. Yeah, that's the apple gourd, isn't it, that khudu plant? The, yeah, this is the apple gourd, I think. Yes. So we planted that there and I can see it sort of settled down. Yeah. And uh, I might put a cucumber plant just on that space there. Uh, look at that beautiful... Um, Coriander. Coriander. He looks beautiful. It does look beautiful, yes. I think we should harvest some today. Yeah, we have so so many coriander's we planted in, in small containers. And oh, we, we, I see a little slug there. Look, Dad. Uh, remove, take that slug out, okay. Be careful how you... Yeah, I'll just move this. Look. Look at that pesty slug. Let me throw this outside. I really hope you have a great gardening season. If you enjoyed watching this video, please like our videos and don't forget to share our videos with friends and family. Try to inspire your friends to go into gardening and to grow your own vegetables. As you know, sharing is caring. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do something amazing and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload. Stay safe. Asalaamu As Alaikum. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Happy gardening. Assalamu alaikum. And I'll see you in the next one.